टुडे लेट्स डिस्कस आवर फिफ्थ चैप्टर ऑफ ज्योग्राफी एंड दैट इज मिनरल एंड एनर्जी रिसोर्सेस इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट रिसोर्स दैट वट इज रिसोर्सेस एंड देन इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री चैप्टर्स दैट इज सॉइल वाटर एंड एनर्जी दीज ऑल आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस सो फ्रॉम हेयर समवे वी स्टार्ट मैन मेड रिसोर्सेस एक्चुअली मिनरल्स आर मेड बाय नेचर एंड लेटर वैन इट वी मोडिफाइड इट देन इट बिकम अ मैन मेड रिसोर्स न द क्वेश्चन इज दैट वट इज अ मिनरल अ मिनरल इज अ homogeneous naturally occurring substance it a uh, definable internal structure so this is a definitions according to geologist that these minerals are occurring in nature and they all have a definite chemical compositions uh, let me take the example like iron sodium chloride made of sodium and chloride so these are the examples of minerals rocks are the combinations of homogeneous substances and they are called minerals minerals are basically found in rocks or under the surface of the earth now the first thing is importance of these minerals in our country india these minerals are indispensable part of our lives almost everything which we are use in our daily life is made up of these minerals and that is the most important most of the or oh, i can say that this is the number one importance of minerals the things which we are using like car buses in transport train aeroplanes they all are manufactured from minerals and are not power resources derived from the earth not only these car buses etc but the food we eat also contain minerals in all the stages of development human beings have used minerals for their livelihood religious and ceremonial rites so here we can say that mineral are a very important part of our life now let us classify the mineral classifications of minerals then then we can uh, classify our mineral in three parts or in three types the first one is metallic minerals now the metallic mineral means minerals which are hard ductile shine they all are metallic minerals examples are iron copper etc they all are the metallic minerals a car trains etc they all are made up of mineral they are hard and very useful to us similarly the next one is the non metallic minerals these non metallic mineral does not consist of any metal they are semi solid liquid and even in the gaseous forms also like the petroleum natural gases salt etc they all are non metallic minerals here we classified a third part also of mineral and that is energy minerals or the power minerals means the, only those minerals from which we get 
electricity of power example are coal petroleum and natural gas let us understand metallic and non metallic minerals by classifying both of them into two parts the metallic minerals are consist of metals while the non metallic minerals are does not consist of metal the second thing is that they are solid in nature while the non metallic minerals are semi solid liquid or even in the gases form we can take the example also iron copper magnesium etc they all are the good example of metallic mineral coal petrol salt marble etc are the example of non metallic minerals now these metallic minerals also divided into two parts and these are the first one is ferrous by name it is clear ferrous means it is consist of iron these minerals are malleable and ductile the examples are iron itself manganese chromite they all have the quality of iron Con they all contain iron means have a magnetic qualities thus this is the first classification of metallic mineral the second classification of metallic mineral is non ferrous these non ferrous minerals does not consist of iron they are non malleable and also non ductile here we can take example of copper zinc oxide later become aluminium etc they all hard they all are hard and shine but they are not ferrous minerals they are metallic minerals but not a ferrous metallic minerals so this is how we classify minerals we first classify minerals metallic non metallic second and the third one is energy in the first part metallic minerals are also classified into two part ferrous and non ferrous now let us come to the third part and that is energies minerals energy minerals means those minerals from which we create energy or power example coal by burning coal in thermal power plant we produce energy similarly by burning petroleum or we get energy from petrol and run trains vehicles etc and the third one is natural gas like the anta gas plant now the third part in which we discuss about the that how much fairly rich and varied minerals resources are there in india india is rich in minerals the first part in india southern india in the panin sural region of india these rocks contain minerals basically they contain non metallic minerals sedimentary rocks of the western and eastern ghat in the peninsular region that that is the gujarat and assam especially 
here also there are a lot of deposits of petroleum like in Assam Dikboi and recently we found petroleum in the Godavari Krishna Basin region of Andhra Pradesh. In Rajasthan also we found many minerals. Basically we found a lot of non-ferrous minerals in Rajasthan. Rajasthan is number one in India in the productions of zinc and copper also. The great northern plain of India made up of alluvial soil. It is also rich in minerals and there is a lot of economic importance of this region. So because of the importance of this alluvial soil, we count it as a economic mineral. Mode of occurrence minerals. The minerals are found in rocks. In the igneous rock and in metamorphic rocks, the minerals are mainly occur in the cracks of holes or in the joints which are found in these rocks. The cracks which are small, they are called veins as we learned in the last year and before last year in the 8th class also and the larger cracks they are called lobes so the major metallic minerals like tin, copper, zinc, lead etc are obtained from veins and lobes of the igneous and metamorphic rocks now the second type of rock is the sedimentary rocks As we know these sedimentary rocks are made by sediments and that's why we found a lot of layer in these sedimentary rocks. Obviously the minerals are mainly occur in the beds or in other words you can say the layers of these minerals. They have been formed as a result of deposition and accumulations of the concentration in horizontal strata the minerals which we which we found in sedimentary rocks are basically iron ore gypsum and potash rather than this the minerals are also found on the surface rocks and the removal of the soluble constant bauxite is found in this way The next one is the placer deposits. In the first chapter, we learned about placer deposits. They are occur in the they are occur as alluvium soils in the sands of valley floors and the base of hills. By these placer deposits, the minerals which are found in these seasons are gold, silver, tin, platinum etc. and the next or the last one is ocean water where a lot of minerals found. These water contains vast quantities of minerals for example common salt that is NaCl, magnesium, bromine, petroleum etc. like here in India we have Bombay High from where India get more than 40% of its petroleum consumption. So minerals are basically found in these regions. Now we will take examples of ferrous, non-ferrous minerals and non-metallic minerals in our next part of the lecture. Till today, that's all. Thank you.